Welcome to Urology 101, the study of urine. We are your rookie urologists. In order to examine urine, you must obtain urine. And urine is taboo. It is not wise to ask for samples. Now, it is best to start with your own, as I have done here. Tools of the urology trade are easily acquired. Lab coats. Glasses for that scientific look. <laughs> Glasses. Glasses. And of course, you must have a very good microscope. Let us delve into this urology thing. Delve? Delve, yes, delve. Day one. Day one. Nine bottles of water went in. And nine bottles of water came right out. If the body is made of 70% water, as the scientists claim, why did I not absorb anything? I absorbed squadoosh! <laughs> this was a three-day experiment in which I attempted to drink fluids and fluids only. Technical term? Fasting? Fasting, yes. Notice, if you will, the variation in coloration of said urination. Huh? 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 Ah. Hey, let's see my ball. Uh -huh. On day two, I opted to drink no water. I started out with coffee, and I went to tea. I went from tea to tea and pickles. Then I went straight to lunch, which was nothing more than beer, 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 and beer. Hey, wait a minute. I bet there's still some beer up in there. Jesus Christ! Well, there may not be any beer. There's got to be some kind of alcohol content to it. Who? Beer is the product that I absorbed. For every 36 ounces of beer intake, only 24 comes out. That is what brings about the dreaded beer belly. Sweet Mary Mother oh, Joseph! It's all alive! <laughs> Day three. Twelve bottles went in, and only ten bottles came out. What say you, Scotty? I'm giving her all she's got, Captain. She can't take no more. Yes. Join us next time as we hide in a women's public bathroom to retrieve a mystery sample. <laughs>